Hello. Uh, I am doing a case study on my client, Eric Theodore Cartman. All right. So this is Eric Cartman. He is one of the main characters on the show South Park. He's an eight-year-old boy who lives in the rural town of South Park. He lives in his home with his single mother, Leanne. And Cartman is characterized by his cruel and hateful nature and his imposing sense of self-worth. He is often seen tormenting and belittling almost anyone that he interacts with, whether it be his classmates, his friends, his mom, or even authority figures. He is cunning and manipulative in the extreme and can and will do anything to get what he wants, no matter who must suffer. Now, I've diagnosed Eric Carmen with antisocial personality disorder. So the Cleveland Clinic describes ASPD as a mental health disorder that causes one to show a lack of respect for others, not follow commonly accepted social norms, and also break laws with no concern for the consequences. Now, here I've listed some of the symptoms according to the Mayo Clinic. So here we have ignoring right and wrong, telling lies to take advantage of others, not being sensitive to or respectful of others, using charm or wit to manipulate others for personal gain or pleasure, and so on. So there are a few symptoms that I have noted uh, observing Cartman's behavior. And we'll take a look at those now. First of all, he has a shocking sense of superiority. He's extremely narcissistic. And we can see here, growing up, uh, he was raised by his single mother who spoiled him rotten. And I believe that that created the mindset that he does not deserve to be punished for anything bad he does, and he deserves to be treated like he's perfect by everybody. And you can see here, uh, Every time he's placed in uh, or given authority of any kind, he abuses it to the extreme. So here he was made a cop and he went around beating everybody with his baton. But yeah, and I'd also say he is extremely delusional and he believes that all of his friends and classmates love him and adore him and they should respect him highly. But He's done nothing to deserve that kind of respect. Next we have manipulative behavior. So yeah, I'd say Cartman's manipulative abilities run in the extremes. Uh, he is very often seen manipulating people for his own gain, and he is very good at it. Um, most often, I'd say his victim is poor Butters right here. I'm not going to describe what is going on in that picture, but you can use your imagination. Uh, but yeah, Butters is often his target because he's very gullible and little. And I'd say he's the most childlike out of all the characters in the show. So yeah, that makes him an easy target for someone like Cartman, who does not care like what he has to do or if he has to manipulate anybody as long as he's getting his way. He doesn't care about the consequences for butters or anything. It's very sad. All right, now criminal tendencies. And here I've just listed some of Cartman's crimes. So yeah, obviously hate crimes, that is like very often seen in the series. He's not a very nice person. Uh, mass murder, including child murder, enforced cannibalism, prostitution, mutilation, and indecent exposure. So yeah, he's not a great person. He doesn't have a great track record. Um, oh, uh, crimes against humanity, enforced suicide, vandalism, property damage, cannibalism, identity theft, genocide, oh, abuse, attempted matricide, treason, assault, battery, smuggling, arson, Attempted global domination, war crimes, false imprisonment, slander. So yeah, that's not good. Uh, 
But moving on, uh, next we have a lack of remorse and violent behavior. So as I've stated previously, Cartman will pretty much do anything he needs to to get his way, and he has really no concern for the well-being of himself or others when he's enacting his evil plans. And you can see here, Butters is in the hospital. That happens very often, unfortunately. Butters gets extremely injured or punished for stuff that Cartman does. And yeah, he's a very hateful person. He'll say hateful things to people with absolutely no care for their feelings at all. And yeah, he is capable of very great harm. And he pretty much shows no remorse for how he makes other people feel or how his actions affect them. So yeah, this is an instance where he went to anger management theory and basically uh, nothing good went down. That's all I'm going to say. Just to keep it short. It was not very pleasant. And yeah. So here we have some video evidence. Um, I feel like this video clip very well depicts Carmen's nature and yeah I'm just gonna let the video speak for itself so for some context they're at a chili con carnival yeah Yeah, that's not good. Oh yeah, here comes the band Radiohead. Jeez, what a little crybaby. You're gonna cry all day, crybaby? You know, everyone has problems. It doesn't mean you have to be a little cry. And Cartman orchestrated all of this to happen just because Scott Tenorman ripped him off for $16. And then here he is reveling in the suffering of Mr. Tenderman. Oh god. Uh, okay, I think that's enough. Okay. Moving on. I think, uh, yeah cannot be understated uh, Cartman's psychopathic tendencies. Uh, usually a child his age would be diagnosed with what is known as conduct disorder, but I believe because of the severity of his actions and his symptoms, I feel like ASPD is a much more fitting diagnosis. And here are my references. Woo! Woo! Yeah. So thank you for coming to my TED Talk. I'll see you next time. Bye, cool.